So that's a very smart call from, from, from Yarno and Merck together because it was no loss. They've got no penalty, so, so I mean, they could do what they like, but we're about to get back underway for a two-lap sprint to the end. It's Barry in control, De Capua P2, up here on brand new soft tires in P10, settle in. Here goes Barry, green flag drops, two laps to go. Yes, pedal to the metal for the second time in this Grand Prix. Barry Burman getting away well, not very quick though for Alessio Di Capua with long game warming up the tires in behind. It comes on here straight away, straight to the jugular, he says. He goes up into P9, brilliant work there for the Dutchman, and he flies again. He has got carrots on right ahead of him here, smartly dispatched. The Dutchman flies. Down the outside and again to what will be turn three. Brilliant from Yano. Two places gained. Pace in abundance. The Mercedes is on a flyer, Jack. Yeah, and remember, of course, there's no DRS because we've been behind the safety car. So he's got to get it done in the corners as we go to another penalty for Dylan Warren. That's not going to go well for him. We're going to have one lap to go across the line next time by. Obmir can still, he still will lead the championship going into Brazil. But the question is by how much going into the side. Here he comes. He's, although he's tapped Suze in the back. He goes sideways. So close between the both of them. Just the pace advantage. Uh, it was Obmir getting caught out with the pace disadvantage by Suze. Here he comes through the chicane. He's absolutely no contest once again. Here comes Opmir inside line. Suze is going to try and defend with everything he's got. This is for position in this Grand Prix. Opmir late on the brakes. Up the inside. Suze fights it. He can't though. Up to P7 goes Yara Opmir and that will be P5 after penalties. Absolutely mega stuff here. We're going to be uh, certainly heading out here on another lap and certainly as we don't witness them. Head round now. The final lap. Here comes Yara again. The flying Dutchman on the final lap goes clear of Andreas Dormeyer on that fresh soft tyres into turn one now Warren up next half a second the deficit it's coming down by the moment Yano flying here with one lap left on the final lap should I say the Dutchman straight for the jugular goes up to P5 by this teammate Danny Moreno a sensation a marvel magnificent magnificent it's Yano up into P4 magic here in the Australian Grand Prix he borders at Mercedes, and I don't, I wouldn't count out a podium yet. This is it's sensational from Yano Watmere. Let's watch as we come through the last few sectors. Barry's got to watch his mirrors here. Here he goes through the chicane over towards the last few corners right now. Long way's in trouble now as they come towards the chicane. No DRS for Yano Watmere just yet. Settle in. Watch the deficit as they come to the chicane. Into the left, into the right. Here comes Watmere. He's going to get it sideways oh, with the overtake on. He's going to try to get three P3 from Nicholas Longway. He defends the inside here he goes he gets it done p3 and a podium for Jano Wapmir sensational overtake in the last few corners but wow what has gone on from last on the grid to p3 but it will be Barry Burmand who wins the Australian Grand Prix De Capua is second Obmir, sensational P3. Absolutely pandemonium here in Australia. Yano Obmir, I have never seen anything like this in all my life. The history of commentating on league racing, esports, my mind has been absolutely obliterated. Yano Obmir, the Flying Dutchman, last to a podium P3. If that does not make your mind explode, folks, I do not know what will. The Flying Dutchman has done it in superior fashion into P3. Borman has won the Grand Prix, but what a mesmeric performance.